Hello my darlings! I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and of course follow me on Instagram. Okay guys, so today I was thinking how can I help you when it comes to purchasing the right niche slash very luxurious fragrance? And I decided that out of the whole bunch that I have, I'm gonna pick the ones that are really, really, really are the most complimented. So the ones that you really don't have to worry, if you wanna impress, you will. So this is money well spent, cause you know, let's be honest, most of the time, yes, we wear perfumes for ourselves, blah, 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 but we are all human and we all wanna feel good and we all wanna feel appreciated, especially in such dark times. So, let's cut to the chase and let me start with the first fragrance. Um, some I don't have that long, but I had a pleasure uh, being around people at the time that I was testing them and trust me, just trust me. Okay. So the first one, Parfums de Mardica City. Uh, to be completely honest, guys, yes, people do love the Lina, absolutely. But I feel like this one is a better all-rounder. Even though if you want to get the Lina, just get the Lina, just get the Lina. <laughs> but uh, if you want something a little less popular, a little more refined, because this is a very smooth fragrance, Get yourself Cassili. This is Frangipani, Mimosa, Plum Note, and my favorite dry down of all time, which is Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Tonka. So you really cannot go wrong with this. This is more fruity than floral, but also this is more creamy than sharp, if it makes any sense. This is, again, less sharp than the Lina is, and um, less floral. Because, you know, the Lina is mainly rose. It does have fruits, of course, but this one is just a little bit more creamier, smoother, well-rounded. It doesn't have any edges to it. This is beautiful fragrance. I love it. The longevity on me is better than the original the Lina. Uh, not like the Lina exclusive, but uh, it's better than original the Lina. I know it varies on other people, so, you know... Mm, take my words with a grain of salt. Uh, you have to test it for yourself, but this is very much complimented and this is a beautiful Oranda. So get yourself this one. All right, the next one is, of course, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Oh, let me just, okay, now it's nice and shiny. I love this and people, when they smell it, they go crazy. Uh, I remember when I was in South Africa, whoever smelled me went crazy and wanted to get it. This is how good it is. This is honeysuckle, um, neroli, orange blossom. This is mainly also marshmallow. So if you like oriental gourmands, it's basically a, a gourmand, heavy gourmand with oriental florals. I love that combination, but it's not for everyone. But it doesn't matter, it gives me so many compliments, guys. It's insane, absolutely insane. So that's Love Don't Be Shy. Uh, quite long lasting on me, projection also very nice. All right, next one. Again, some people love it, some people absolutely hate it and despise it. And that is Instant Crush by Mancera. And when I tell you that this fragrance gives me compliments like crazy, I'm sorry, it's good, it's just that good. It just has something in it that it's so intoxicating for other people when they smell you, especially from the far, like when you're sitting maybe at the arm's length from them. It's just crazy how good it is um, when people smell you. Um, this is vanilla, saffron, rose, it has it has a little bit of a sugary quality to it, but uh, it gets very woody slash woody in the dry down. So keep that in mind, this is definitely oriental leaning. But from these heavy oriental fragrances, this is really the one to go. I cannot wait to go clubbing because I feel like this is gonna be my ultimate clubbing scent. It's just fantastic because it's sweet, but it's very, very strong. So. 
That's Instant Crush by Mansera. Alright, next I have two Montals for you. The first one is Chocolate Greedy. Very, very, very complimented fragrance. Just, you know, people love cacao, people love chocolate, people love Nesquik. To me, this smells like Nesquik and some dried fruits. Very, very nice projection and longevity. It is quite powdery, but it's definitely on the chocolate side. Um, it has a little bit of a dry orangey hue to it. Um, but in general, this is a heavy cacao tonka fragrance. Very, very nice and this will definitely get you compliments, especially in the cooler weather. I wouldn't suggest um, to wear it during the summertime, like very, very heavy summer. It's nice for rainy days, it's nice for evenings, for cooler weather. That's perfect. Okay, next one, Montel again, Intense Cafe. I love this one, guys. I love this one. One. This is rose, vanilla and coffee. Uh, I am definitely getting the Ristretto Intense Cafe because this is how much I love the fragrance and I do have two bottles of this one. So yes, I am crazy, but who can blame me? This is good. And I'm going to actually spray it today because why not? I love this so much, guys. I love this so much. This is very, very good fragrance. And guys, mix it with Baccarat Rouge. Mix it with um, Instant Crush. If you want to be a powerhouse, go with this one and mix it with fragrances um, with that Baccarat Rouge-esque um, scent profile. I mean saffron, amber, a little bit earthy, sugary. Uh, this one is perfect to mix and also the original Baccarat Rouge. Speaking of, of course, this is one of my most complimented fragrances and these two together work so, so well. Um, to be completely honest with you, I'm moving smoothly to Baccarat now. Uh, to be completely honest with you, um, I get definitely more compliments with the extract version than this one. Uh, this one, I feel like people smell me from the far. They don't really smell me very close, if you know what I mean. Uh, this Baccarat, the original, I was chased around restaurants, um, so people wanted to know what that was. With the extract, you get smelled from the far and up close. And to me, it's nicer, unfortunately, yes, it got stolen, blah, blah, blah. I don't have it anymore, but I will. I, I will definitely repurchase it. Uh, but yeah, I have the big bottle of Baccarat and I absolutely adore this fragrance. This is so, so good, so luxurious. If you want to invest in any brand, I would suggest Montal, Baccarat, which is Kurjan, these two are fantastic because Montal has great price and longevity and Kurjan is so, so, so refined and people love it. People really, really love their fragrances. So yeah, Baccarat, you know the drill. I'm not even gonna repeat myself over and over again. I love it. And another Kurjan I have, and this is like my going out ultimate fragrance at the moment. Um, and whenever I wear it, again, people just go crazy. And especially women love it so much, it's insane, guys. And that is Oud Satin Oud. This is by far my favorite Oud. Uh, one of the best niche fragrances out there. I love it to death. To, to, to death. Uh, if I only could have one Oud fragrance, this would be Oud Satin Oud. I will get to my second favorite wood in a second, but this one is just fantastic. This takes the cake for me in every single aspect. Very long lasting, super projection, gives me compliments like no other. I don't think I've ever gotten more compliments than I got with Oud Satin Wood and Baccarat. Uh, and also, love Don't Be Shy. These three would be like the top three compliment getters from my niche collection. Of course, there is so much more and, you know, I just only wanted to pick 10. But um, these are like compliment masters 
masters. They just know how to do it with your skin. Um, yeah, so this is oud, very smooth oud. This is a lot of vanilla, uh, a little bit of violet, and of course a rose. Uh, but it's not a very typical oud rose combination. This is so much more to it. The vanilla is way, way higher up um, when it comes to prominent notes than roses. So you get oud vanilla combination more so. So, fantastic. My boyfriend is, I think, the only person in the world that doesn't like it. But, you know, sometimes we just don't get much luck with that, do we? Okay, um, another one. Um, this is so beautiful and this is the best rose fragrance. The best rose fragrance. And that is Jo Malone Rose and White Musk Absolute. This is like the most expensive Jo Malone fragrance, I'll be honest. And Okay, it's worth it. <laughs> Very oriental, realistic row with a lot of musk. I think they put some wood in here as well, to be completely honest. It's absolutely stunning. This is very potent, but um, fresh, juicy, juicy rose. Uh, kind of a rose that you would pick in a garden right after the rain, but you know, that red, red, red rose. Um, and the musk. And the woody, woody undertone to it. Just beautiful, just beautiful. I have the full review on it, so I will link it up there for you guys if you want to check it out. Same with the Mancera Instant Crush. I will link both reviews uh, up in the information box. Okay, two more fragrances to go. Uh, another oud, let's go with another oud. Uh, that is Oud Bouquet by Lancome and yes, I don't have it for a long time. I've I've had it for a month, maybe a little bit more um, and this is so good. Again, I have a review on it so I will leave it for you as well. All three reviews will be up there uh, and of course all the links will be down there. So you have stuff up there and down there. It sounded so bad, but let, let's let's move on. Okay, so this is Oud, very smooth Oud again. Uh, rose, perline, a little bit of saffron. Uh, even though I'm not sure because um, in one version they had saffron, in the other they didn't because this has been reformulated. So I'm not that sure if the new one has saffron or not, but I'll check it. Anyways, this is so beautiful. Definitely way sweeter than Oud Satin Mood. So many of you ask me, Paulina, which one would you actually choose? I would choose Oud Satin Mood. But I know, I know that my boyfriend would say Oud Bouquet. So, uh, if you want to be complimented uh, by men more, go for Oud Bouquet because it's like delicious and sweet and gourmand of a Oud, which is very, very complex and interesting. And if you want to be complimented by those bitches, get yourself this one. Because I want to be complimented by my favorite bitches and they love this. So yeah, this one is amazing as well. Uh, another fantastic fragrance to wear at night for a date. It's very sexy, it's sensual, but it's very, very sweet. So yeah. Oud Bouquet by Lancome, it's fantastic, really fantastic. Okay, and last but not least, another absolutely heavy hitter. As you can see, I mainly have very, very heavy fragrances here, with some exceptions, but they're mainly very, like, mm, I'm not selling you bullshit. If you want to get a proper niche, get yourself something stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or Cassili, because it's very nice. But my last and definitely not least fragrance is Santal Noir by Dior. Uh, this was initially only released for Middle Eastern market, uh, but I think it's now available worldwide. This is a beautiful sandalwood and bread fragrance. So you get, if you don't like oud and you want something oriental, get this. This is basically my conclusion every time I speak about it, uh, because the sandalwood really replaces the oud perfectly. And here you have a lot of ambrette, which gives that fragrance a fruity touch. 
and the sandalwood is very smooth I wouldn't say it's too milky but it's very very smooth it's still a heavily woody fragrance but it's definitely unisex it's a little bit smoky it's just beautiful very very beautiful it is a little bit sweet uh, but oriental and sexy very very sexy potent potent fragrance I don't know why I'm repeating the adjectives but I, I just I think I want to make it sound like it really is potent <laughs> anyways Santa Noir is just beautiful and this is another fragrance that is perfect to mix with others for example my uh, beautiful combination is Santa Noir uh, which has some rose to it as well but it's not very prominent and uh, Rose Mask Absolute by Joan Malone. These two together work absolutely beautifully. Also Santa Noir, I love mixing with Kayali Vanilla, which I don't have here, but you know how it looks like. I'll put the picture. Uh, Santa Noir and Kayali Vanilla, one of the best combos. Another amazing combo is uh, Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice. Basically something fruity will work amazing with this. So yeah, that's Santa Noir, guys. And that is it for today's video. I acquired many new niche fragrances, but you know, I want to be honest with you, I haven't tested out most of them out yet and in front of people. So, you know, these are really the most complimented ones. So I really hope you enjoy the video. I've, I really hope you find it helpful. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye.